Hello, I'm Daniel, a class support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Sometimes customers ask me, how do I create a replication instance in AWS database migration service? I tell them that they can create a replication instance by using the AWS CLI, API, or the AWS DMS console. For this video, we'll be using the AWS DMS console. Let's get started. As you can see, I've already logged into the AWS management console. Next, navigate to the AWS DMS console. From the navigation bar, select replication instances. Choose create replication instance. The create replication instance window appears for you to complete the displayed fields. Name replication instance one. Note, when you hover on the eye in the black circle for each field, you will see more information about the field. Complete the following. Name, description, my first replication instance. Instance class. At this time, we have three instance classes, T2, C4, R4. T2 is for testing and for small jobs. C4 is for regular jobs that don't require too much memory. R4 is for huge jobs because the instance is memory optimized. Select C4 large. Engine version. I recommend creating a replication instance of the latest version. This makes sure that all the patches and latest features are already bundled. Choose your preferred VPC if you have more than one. Multi-AZ. Choose yes for production instances for disaster recovery. Otherwise, choose no, for example, for testing purposes. Publicly accessible. Check the box if you want the replication instance to be able to navigate the internet to connect to remote servers. This makes sure that the instance gets allocated with a public IP address. Expand the advanced section and then complete the fields. Allocated storage in gigabytes. Usually, the default storage of 50 gigabytes for T2 instance class and 100 gigabytes for C4 and R4 classes are okay because most functions performed by DMS are done in memory. This storage is used for logs, metadata, and swapping. Replication subnet group. Select your preference. Availability zone. Select your preference. VPC security group. It's important that you set up your security group to allow the replication instance outbound access to all IP addresses to make sure that there will be no connection issues from the AWS side. KMS Master Key. Usually, the storage of the replication instance is configured to encrypt all data. The service encrypts the storage used by a replication instance and the endpoint connection information using an AWS Key Management Service Key that's unique to your AWS account. If you haven't created an AWS DMS replication instance in this region, choose Enter a key ARN and leave the ARN ID field blank. The AWS DMS automatically creates the AWS KMS key named default AWS DMS. You won't go over this process in that region again. The other fields are auto-populated. Description account key ARN expand the maintenance section and then complete the fields auto minor version upgrade check the checkbox this allows minor engine version updates to be applied automatically whenever they become available maintenance window specify the weekly time range in UTC for the time that you'd like the system maintenance to occur. Choose the start day, the start time, and duration. 
Check your entries and if you're satisfied, choose Create Replication Instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.